So I'm here on the first tee at Royal Troon. I can actually hear bagpipes in the background. As you can see, what a day I've got to play this golf course. The weather is stunning. The sun is out, very little wind. Whether that's gonna change throughout the round, we'll see, but I'm just gonna tee off the first here. And we'll show you exactly what Royal Troon has in store. First uh, couple of holes here at Troon, fairly gentle par fours really, um, just hit driver and sort of short iron into both of them, a um, couple of nice pars to start with which is good, just missed birdie on the first there which you'll have seen on the video, uh, that looked in all the way by the way. Um, and then you come to the third which is a bit trickier, so a bit longer, um, tee shot, there's a burn that crosses the fairway that you've got to kind of be careful that you don't go into. Um, and and yeah the shot into the green is a little bit lengthier than the first two so it kind of eases you in nicely and then uh yeah it really turns the heat up a little bit so let's see how we get on on this hole So we've managed to get through the first five holes with some mixed results to be honest. Two nice pars at the first couple of holes. Uh, I don't know if you saw there but having to hack it out of the rough there on the third because I'd hit a pretty poor drive down the left hand side in the rough so took my medicine, bogey there. But then managed to birdie the par five after that. Just parred the little par three, uh, the fifth. So now we move on to the sixth, bit longer hole down here and we get ever closer to that iconic postage stamp. So here we are on the tee of the postage stamp, the eighth hole here at Royal Troon, measuring just 123 yards. As you can see behind me, there's a pot bunker just short right there, two up the left hand side as well. Very, very difficult golf hole, and certainly not one that you can take too lightly. I mean, this, um, this hole regularly um, costs, costs players lots and lots of shots when they have major championships here and it really is only like a gap wedge or a pitching wedge to get it onto the green so it's on paper not the most difficult hole in the world but when you get up there and see how slopey the green is and where the traps are around it that's what certainly makes it very very difficult the wind can also play a massive part today there isn't much of it so it's not too bad i've got a gap wedge i'm going to hit in there um, 123 yards which is pretty much bang on for me but yeah it can really play it with your mind the fact that you've got such a small target to aim at and also you could have a good score on the line. So now we've completed the front nine we make our turn for home and the holes become even tougher off the tee in my opinion I mean the tee shot here on 10 is very hard and I'm stood on the 11th tee now I've just played the 10th very difficult hole you're hitting it over the brow of a hill fairway kicks it all to the right it's quite long off the back tee as well so you're hitting a decent club into the green and then we get to this one so when I walk up onto this 11th tee here um, the shot doesn't look inviting at all as you can see there's lots and lots of trouble to go over and train line all the way down the right hand side which um, many Lynx courses that you'll have played have train lines very close to them and, and the beach on the other side or 
altogether. It's, it seems to be a feature of Lynx Golf Courses really where you get a lot of, um, of train lines running up and down the coast. So yeah, this tee shot doesn't look particularly inviting, but very, very tough, very nice golf hole. We are turning now downwind as well, which last time I played here, all these holes were into the wind and they were absolutely brutal. So I'm hoping they're gonna be a little bit more friendly because I've not got too bad a score going. I'm level par after 10 holes. So hopefully we can uh, battle our way in and not make too many mistakes. just walking down the 18th hole here at Royal Troon and what a lovely day we've had to be honest not much wind back nine there was a little bit more wind but it was pretty much straight down for the majority of the holes that we played which you think would make the holes easier but it really doesn't particularly the ones around the turn so when you get to like 10 11 12 13 just such tough driving holes that you have to hit the fairway you've got to hit good shots some of the greens are fairly tricky as well with runoffs and not very big greens either. So you've really got to be on your metal to, to score around here. Let the score go a little bit back nine, but I've just hit the middle of the fairway here on 18. And if I can get it somewhere on the green and par, par would make me shoot two over, but I'd love to make a birdie. So as you've just seen there, didn't quite make my birdie down the 18th, but still had an absolutely fantastic round here at Royal Troon. I would recommend anyone come and play this golf course. It's an unbelievable test. Very, very tough in places as well, with some really small greens and some very tough tee shots, as you've seen out there as well. I got it on a pretty good day, to be honest. In November, you are not gonna get many better days than this up here in Ayrshire to play a course like this. and. I certainly loved every single moment of it and I will definitely, definitely be back. So that wraps up pretty much all the courses that we've played here in Ayrshire. So over the last month, we've been at Prestwick, we've been at uh, Turnbury, we've played Dundonald twice, we've been at Western Gales, we've played Glasgow Gales and here at Royal Troon as well. Um, and I must say, I, I don't really have a favourite. I think they're all absolutely fantastic. Turnbury may just edge it purely because I played a little bit better around there but other than other than that there's nothing really that splits many of these golf courses you will probably have a different opinion to me on many of them as well but I thoroughly recommend you get over this side of Scotland play some of these golf courses and if you're that golfer as I have been in the past that just sort of gravitates towards St Andrews all the time 
think again, come over to Ayrshire, play some of these golf courses, and particularly using Dundonald as the kind of hub for all of this has been amazing. You can literally get to most of these golf courses in 10 minutes. Um, Turnbury was a little bit longer drive, but generally um, everything is on your doorstep. Plus, going for a few beers in Troon and Prestwick has also been a particular highlight as well. So definitely, next time you're looking at booking a golfing trip, Ayrshire should be up there on your list.